Hello everyone and welcome to a short and very unexpected video about the Wombo X5 Pro Projector. If you saw my full review a few days ago, you know I'm a big fan of this machine. The reason I'm making this second video is because of what I found inside of it while trying to solve a simple problem. But first, let me explain how I got here. It all comes down to a cheap Amazon ceiling mount. After filming my main review, I needed to take the projector down to get some extra shots. But for some reason, the entire mounting screw was just spinning along with the projector. I tried to hold the base with my hands and when that didn't work I switched to pliers, which is where these scratches came from. But the plastic piece just kept spinning, it was completely stuck. So I figured the only way to fix this was to open the lid and get to the nut from the inside. Now I know it doesn't seem like it because I am a complete professional, but this is my first time opening a projector. The moment the lid was off I should have focused on removing the mount, but not knowing how many chances I'd get to look inside the projector I put the problem aside and went on with the tear down just for the sake of it. The main challenge was finding all the screws. Every time I thought I was done, another one would be hiding somewhere holding the case together. But after what felt like a hundred hidden screws, I managed to get all the panels off and pull the main internal assembly out. And that's when I saw something I'd completely missed at first glance. Something that looks like a freaking HDMI TV stick. And what's so weird about it is that it looks completely removable. Now listen, maybe this is normal in projectors, but for me, this is the first time seeing this. What I do know is that it's pretty cool and the way I see it also useful. Before I explain why I think that, I had to see if it actually works in a monitor or TV. By all accounts, it looks like a regular TV stick. It has a mini USB for power and a regular HDMI head, so there's no reason it shouldn't work. And there it is. Right now I have my projector running on my monitor, which is hilarious, for lack of better word. Now, why do I think this is so cool? Two reasons. First, if your projector ever breaks, either the lamp dies, the power supply fails, the main board or whatever, you're left with a fully functional 4K TV stick. I know these things are pretty cheap nowadays, but it's much better than being left with a completely dead box. And second, on the flip side, if the TV stick itself breaks, you can probably just replace it. You could find a similar model on Amazon, or with a bit of DIY, maybe even fit a different one with better specs in there. Of course, you may be losing stuff like autofocus or keystone correction, as those systems probably need to talk to the mainboard. But returning back to the DIY thing, I guess that's something that could be worked on. The bottom line is that it seems way easier to repair or troubleshoot than I ever expected. An upgradable, repairable projector wasn't on my bingo card. Again, I am a beginner when it comes to the internals of a projector, but it's definitely something I find very interesting. Now all I have to do is somehow manage to put all these screws back in and of course to find a way to remove the mount which is the reason I started all this and completely forgot all about it. 